how do you know if you're being productive in your business? Is it checking off more items on your to-do list? Is it working more hours or getting up earlier? Those are frequently thought of as being as productivity, but sometimes those things can be busy work. And I'm going to uh, define productivity in business as being in useful relationship to the people you want to serve in your business as frequently as possible. So, if you are always preparing for your launch, you're creating your online course, or you are writing your book and it's taking you years to do it, or you are getting another certification so that you can be more prepared to serve your ideal clients, that can be helpful, but a lot of times, especially the people I seem to uh, attract into my audience, heart-based people who tend to be uh, maybe more, sometimes more shy or more afraid of rejection because they really want to be in relationship to others, and rejection would be would be would seem like a break in that relationship. A lot of us tend to continue to prepare and prepare and prepare. And we, and we work a lot of hours, but when we work all these hours not being in true, useful service to the people we want to serve, our ideal clients. Especially when it comes to earning a living from doing it, which is what, what business is. Otherwise, it's a hobby, right? And so, I'll give you a couple examples of, of, of real productivity. The most, the most true productivity is when you finally launch your product or your service and allow your audience to say yes or no to buying your product or service, okay? That's productive because now you're getting real feedback from your market whether or not what you've created is for, in their point of view, of real service to them. So this is a really important point. Being of, of meaningful service to your ideal clients isn't something that you think in your own head and say, well, I think this is really useful. It's what they tell you is useful enough to, to purchase, okay? That, that something that they actually want enough to buy and say, yes, this will be so helpful for me. I'm willing to buy this. So you've got to be doing whatever you can to get that kind of feedback as often as possible. And if you're not, if you're working on things that isn't giving you that kind of feedback, then you've really got to question whether it's productive. Now, a second tier of true productivity is creating content. Like I always talk about and like I always try to model for you to create a lot of content. Because when we create content and really share it out there, really let our ideal audience engage with our content, we can get a sense of what they find useful what in their opinion is useful, not what we think is useful, what they think we've created that's useful. And so content is a proxy. It's a, it helps you to get that sense of what's useful for them so that you can then modify your product or your service accordingly and then relaunch it and relaunch it and relaunch it until you finally make a launch that they say, yes, that, now that is useful, okay? So, so again, just to close this video, remember to look at your activities. It's not how many hours you work. It's not how many items you checked off on your to-do list. It's whether you are getting feedback from your market. That is true productivity in business. Now, I hope you can do it from a joyful place, from a place of true sense of security based on your own spiritual practice. But to be in business and to be productive means getting feedback as much as possible from your market. Through content is okay getting feedback, but ultimately needs to be through making offerings to them to say, do you want to buy this or not? And if not, you have individual conversations with some of your audience to say, what would make, how could I make this product or service even more useful such that it would be worth spending money on? And to just be honest and to be humble because whether they spend money or not is not about you and your self-worth. It's a, simply about the product or the service, whether that has been useful enough for them. So I hope this is helpful and 
feel free to comment below this video if you want to ask me whether some activity you're doing in your business is truly useful. I'd be happy and will uh, try to respond to you the best I can.